for our number line, when we add to subtract, if we're going to regroup, our starting number will need to start at a lower place. So 100, you're always going to have to regroup when you're subtracting because you have lower values in each place. So let's start with 800. It's going to be on the right side of our number line. And then on the other side, let's have 396. So we'll put 396 on this side of the number line. The same as with, uh, without regrouping, I'm just looking to match these place values with the same digits. So I can start with my ones to get my ones to a zero. I'm going to add, this will actually get my ones and my tens good. So let's actually change this number up a little bit. So we'll make it 386, just so that you can see me re regroup twice. So we have 386, we're going to add on four because I know six plus four equals 10. So now we have 390. So next, I need to get this 90 to my next 100. So I know I'm gonna add 10 because 90 plus 10 is 100, and then I will have 400. Then I'm gonna add, I can add 400 to get 800. So our answer will be right on top, being 414. This is the easiest way to subtract, especially with regrouping, because I actually am not subtracting at all. I'm just adding. It tends to be a lot more friendly. The tricky thing is they have to have both numbers on the number line and they have to not be tricked by this number, by this um, operation symbol. So it can be tricky once kids learn it, it's super fast. So definitely give it a try.